a heavy duty day here between the storm and the opening of the convention, but you really have an expertise in energy. So let's kind of focus on what needs to happen in this country. Well, and you're exactly right. It's a heavy duty day in energy policy also, because people are saying, oh my goodness, we remember Katrina and what happened with Katrina and with our nation's oil supplies and refinery capacity because of so much of that being located in the Gulf. And it just drives home the point why we have to have an all of the above type strategy to support the energy issue and why we need to have that debate and go ahead and start drilling and refining and putting refineries in other parts of the nation rather than just down in the Gulf. You know, a friend of mine who is, um, I think he uh, voted for Bush one time and Gore a second, or I don't know how he did, he know he didn't vote for Kerry, but he's really one of those guys in the middle, and he's a brilliant strategist, and he said there needs to be an up or down vote bill, similar to base closures, where there's something for everybody. There's refiner, increased refinery capacity, there's green stuff, there's more drilling, that nobody is happy with the bill but everybody's happy, but it's an overall strategy. How would we ever get something like that? Through well, Congress? and he's, he's right. You know, what you continue to hear is, well, we don't want to pass a bill unless we're taxing the oil companies. Well, it's the Reagan thing. Companies don't pay taxes, people do. And that's going to drive the price up at the pump. You have to have exploration. You have to have domestic drilling. You have to be looking at a mid-range and a long-term strategy as well as that short-term strategy. And he's right on that fact. It's got to be some of all of it in order to get there. But unfortunately, we don't think that that's the kind of bill that is going to come forward. And whether it is a small independent wildcat or, or if it is someone who is trying to build a refinery, they will tell you, they will tell you point blank, you have to be able to stop some of the lawsuits, to stop people from filing protests, or you're never going to expand the refinery capacity to be able to move on to those second and third generation fuels and on to other things. You know, it's interesting. I live a um, third of my time in Dubai. And uh, they don't exactly have a democracy there. But what does happen is the Sheikh has to clear everything has to be green, alternative, and yet they understand pipelines and drilling. So somehow, maybe you guys can form a gang of 10 in the House <laughs> where you really have Republicans and Democrats who really want to see this country move ahead above the top politics. Well, and and the country should move ahead. You know, I've found it so interesting with Governor Sarah Palin on the ticket, and I think that she is a welcome addition. We we needed to see a female on that ticket. And the fact that in Alaska, the people there will tell you, please, you need to be drilling in Anwar, and you need to be pushing forward. Uh, actually getting in and using some of these uh, resources that we have, but it needs to be done in an environmentally sensitive way because we also believe in a subsistence lifestyle. And we're fishers and we're hunters. And uh, so all of those components are important to them. Now, we as members of Congress need to be doing that. We need to be looking at new nuclear and saying, okay, what are we going to do about nuclear power? How are we going to build the grid? In my district, Nissan Motors, which is leading the way in electric cars, they have to have expanded grid capacity in order to support that. Well, what are we doing today to make certain that 20 years down the road, we have the necessary grid capacity? What are we doing with coal to liquids or with uh, clean coal technologies? Um, and that's a good mid-range strategy for us. We have a 200-year capacity of coal yeah. in this nation. Let me ask you a question. I mean, you know, again, here I'm a little Democrat, but I'll do with anything that works. That oil in Alaska goes on the open market. Is there anything that could be done if we drill an Anwar that would make sure that some of that really stays in the good Oh, I, yeah. So, you know, the uh, Governor Palin mentioned the pipeline that they have invested in, that they have chosen as a state to invest in. And uh, the resources at Anwar, the fields that are there at Anwar, are only 60 miles away from a pipeline. There is an expanded natural gas pipeline that they are building. So that is to get it to the lower 48. And uh, they want that for the American market. And when you're up there, 
Uh, people in Alaska will talk about opening up Anwar and expanding the drilling there, doing it in an environmentally sensitive way. It means 750,000 new American jobs, and that's that's significant. Would a bill ever pass that would say that oil is dedicated to the United States? You know, Ellen, I don't know if that would pass or not. I think most people are like me, and I think most people in Alaska want to see that oil come to the U.S. and would expect that it would because one of our goals is energy independence. And we have to move ourselves toward energy independence. Let's keep those jobs here in America rather than sending them to Saudi Arabia or sending them to Venezuela. Let's keep them here. Just one la I know you have 30 seconds. You know, um, again, just from living uh, part-time in Dubai, I see what they're doing in terms of education from kids zero to seven. What can we just, in a quick do, to get our, our education levels up so we get those brain circuitry going in young people? One of the things we need to do is uh, involve those parents. In one of my counties, in my congressional district, we have had a reading program, which was a part of No Child Left Behind, $6 million over a three-year period of time for an underserved county. And the impact that has of bringing the parent in and training them and teaching them how to help teach the child. It has been significant on test scores. That's where we need to be going. Congressman Blackburn, thank you so much. Oh, thank you.